we, we cannot really forget short moments of open intelligence. It's repeated itself, you know. <laughs> in every day the strength we experience, in every experience, in every uh, perception, in every thought, emotion, it's built in the short moments of open intelligence. The more we hear about it, we cannot avoid it. It's like it's so obvious. It's so obvious every moment like that. Because every moment is a short moment, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but, but every moment is like that. And in, um, in, a, in a short moment, repeated many times until it becomes continuous, we reset our mind in, into its natural state, you know, the natural perfection. Then we see that our mind is clear in a short moment of open intelligence. And we, we see that immediately, we can all try it right now, a short moment of complete relaxation, a short moment of complete relaxation, allowing everything to be as it is. You see? Reset. Again, mind is clear. Vast and expensive. No matter what kind of descriptions we have. You know, like we heard this morning, all kinds of stories and concerns and questions. But then, reset. Short moment of open intelligence. The mind is clear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we think, oh, if we don't have any thoughts, then my mind is clear. But it's not correct. It's not correct. I know for myself, and many others will share with you too, you too will share that, how your mind is very clear in every moment, very stable, open, open-hearted, heartfelt. The mind is heartfelt. <laughs> So then experiencing everything so fully without avoiding anything anymore and taking short moments of complete relaxation, of allowing everything to flow and by. So that, that becomes continuous. There is no other way. It's, it's like it becomes continuous without thinking that it will at one point. Because every moment is just so perfect as it is. I say it for myself. I don't wait when it will become continuous. Sometimes I think, oh, it's already continuous. And sometimes I just remember to take short moment of open intelligence. And that's very fine for me. <laughs> you see, so that openness to perceive everything equally and evenly, and remaining open as you are to all perceptions, to all data streams, Everything, nothing is special. You know, allow yourself to be exactly as you are in a short moment of complete relaxation. Then you, you really get the vibe. You get the vibe of how it is to be a human being. Like not anymore being afraid of yourself. Not anymore living in reification. And it is very painful, I know that. Just, you know, limiting our mind, limiting ourselves into some kind of identity that we hope to, you know, have this kind of perfect identity. I will always have positive thoughts, then I will be able to be of benefit to all. Come on, <laughs> it's not happening. I mean, I, I know it for myself. I was always a positive person. Before the training, I came positive to the training. So you see, but then in this training, I just saw how being positive, being positive is so limited comparing to what is available when we learn open intelligence. Like that nothing is limiting me. Even being positive do not limit me, does not limit me. So that was quite the shift from being a person trying to be positive, hoping for positive experiences, thinking about positive things, having all kinds of <coughs> ideas about what is positive, how is it to be positive, and then just allowing myself to be as I am, allowing my ideas to flow and by, allowing myself to be negative. That was wow, such a relief, you know, allowing myself to be negative. No beating up is needed anymore. You know, beating myself up, blaming myself for thinking 
bad thoughts about someone and then blaming myself about that. Then always trying to change the flow of my data science. That didn't work for me. And I really tried my best. It was kind of fine life before, but fine comparing to this amazing life we have now. When we rely on open intelligence, everything is just so vital, so lively, so very powerful, so very giving, so very contributing for the benefit of all, so very inexhaustible, without limits. And that's where we discover that our mind is like, it's not from here to here. That's then it stop. It's expensive. It's inexhaustible. It doesn't have any point when you say, okay, I got it. This is it. And then we just stop. <clears throat> you see, being of benefit to all, we have to ex examine our mind in a very simple way, not watching our mind anymore in a very simple way of this heartfelt connection with ourselves, short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, until it becomes continuous. Whenever we remember, you see, it sounds so simple, but it's not. It's not in the results. It's very powerful. It's simple in a way that it sounds simple, but when you test it, it's really powerful. It's very powerful. It's everything you wished for. I don't mean it's complicated, just so you know. <laughs> so it's, um, <clears throat> it's our natural state. It's a natural, this, the natural state of our mind. So if we, the introduction, we hear it every day here when we come. Hmm? We're ready? <laughs> we had it in the video too, if we stop thinking for a moment. If we stop thinking for a moment. There it is. There it is. The nature of your own mind. It is such a lovely creature. <laughs> so there it is. The nature of your own mind. Stop thinking for a moment. Pause the train of thoughts. Pause descriptions and allow yourself to be as you are. That's only the introduction to open intelligence. You don't need to do it over and over again. And then you see that everything is coming back, all your thoughts and emotions. Even the thought of, I have no thoughts, it's also a thought. Then, oh, open intelligence is always present. It's always there, whether we're thinking or not thinking. So that's the, what I gain from this training, just the ability to perceive everything equally and evenly for the benefit of all. You know, to see myself that I'm able to be of benefit of all regardless of descriptions that I have about myself, about other people. You know, every day we come up with a new story, right? Like we have today, oh, we woke up in the morning, we, we feel shame, what to do? <coughs> it's not a hopeless situation, <laughs> you see? Before it used to be, for me feeling shame. Maybe my friends will tell me, okay, just, I uh, will be fine, don't worry about it. You know, my beautiful friends, of course, but then I didn't see immediate benefit in shame. I was hoping for the shame to disappear <laughs> by me not doing anything, but then I, I just didn't feel comfortable, that shame coming up or feeling worthless feeling angry, feeling sad. What do I do? You know, hoping for tomorrow? Hoping for next year when I travel to India? Hoping for my boyfriend to come and give me a flower? <laughs> <coughs> hoping to get married? <laughs> See? So why? Why to hope? Why to hope? It's, we are not longer in hope and fear world. We are immediately of benefit to all. <coughs> Sorry for that. Immediately of benefit to all. Like in the moment of feeling shame, of feeling angry, of feeling anxious, of feeling hateful, of feeling fear. Everything we feel in that moment, in the flow, in the vibe, short moments, short moments, repeated, repeated. You see? 
and then that openness to allow ourselves to be exactly as we are, like nothing is happening. For me, I, I'm not afraid anymore to feel negative. And that's really amazing, like not afraid anymore to be negative. The support of the four mainstays, you holy about it every day, it's essential. It's like the perfect set. If you, if you follow the four mainstays, it's like it's, it's always contributing to your life. And that's what I see for myself, the, the short moments, the trainer, the relationship with the trainer. You know, to open up to a person that will always support you, always be with you, even if not physically with you, always with you, always on, like short moments, like open intelligence, support you directly in your situation, being for you totally, like so available that it's a bit scary. How can that person be so available for me? But it is the case. And then you see yourself go confidence, gain confidence in open intelligence. You see that in your own direct experience, not someone else's experience. I want to be like that person. You see your own direct experience. You see you so gifted. You see you have so many gifts and talents every day by using the four mainstays. The, the mind is getting brighter and brighter, luminous, clear. Mind synonymous with open intelligence. I will just clear that one. Mind synonymous with open intelligence. No, no division between mind and open intelligence. Everything and everyone is open intelligence. So the trainer, the training, the media. The trainings, every, I mean, here we have so many options to come to a training. Open meeting is a training too. And then a one-day introductory training, when we hear more, how it is for everyone to rely on open intelligence, to rely on the four mainstays, how is it for people? Then we get familiar with the texts, and we read the text, and we are so amazed that short moments becomes continuous. See, and then sometimes the short moments, they very instinctive, suddenly we understand. Other moments, maybe we're not. But we continue on. <clears throat> just, like, just like we do. You know, we continue on. Being open, showing up, mm -hmm. and coming to the community, which is also the mainstays, just to see everyone, how they gain confidence and open intelligence, and we see ourselves that we can do it as well. It's so wonderful just to come a day here to be with the community. It's really special. You know, everyone see, see, sees you as open intelligence. Everyone will. Everyone is so very powerful. We have very serious problems when we rely on open intelligence. <laughs> the, the room is not clean. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> it's just like, that's the, the worst that can happen. <laughs> the room is not clean. But then, you know, you just, you just clean it. <laughs> you just wake up in the morning and say, okay, today I'm going to clean my room. And you do it. You can listen to a talk in the meanwhile. That will remind you that open intelligence is present when the, the room is not clean or clean. You know, but that maturity to care for yourself, to take responsibility for your life, to take responsibility for this amazing mind, you know, for everything that we perceive and to use it for the benefit of all, that's, that's the power that we have. We can always rely on the power to know. And we can always go directly to the source. You know, the power to know that we feel sad. So not the descriptions, the power to know. That's open intelligence. The power to know that we are happy. We are in love. We rely on the power to know. That's, that's how it became continuous in my life, I see. <clears throat> when allowing myself to be as I am, it just, it just happened like that with the four mainstays. And sometimes when I forget, that's fine too. I remember again because the, sh the, the four mainstays, they remind me always. It's like unav unavoidable. It's always in my mind or outside. I don't know where is it. <laughs> but it's always there, the four mainstays, the support, essential support. 
and then to watch the videos and to listen to talks, then it's like, wow, it blown my mind completely. See, so we have the power to know what will be of most benefit to all. We always know what to do and how to act. And we can just take responsibility for that in every moment.